First fatal mugging I've seen in years. She's so young. Not safe to be alone. Not even out here in the sticks. What is this? It looks old. We're lucky. Our friend forgot to Alistair. wear gloves. I think I see something here. It's hard to make it. Could you check the victim's ID instead? I'd like to get this body cleared out before everybody's grandmother drives by on their way to church. He tried to drop it in the river. If this was a mugging, then why did the killer leave her wallet? Oh, thank you. So our victim is Helena Morris, age 23. She was a student at UVM, home for spring break. Had a part-time job as a server during spring break. I have all the gun owners in the area. I'm not done. Get this. Helena Morris was a film student at UVM. She had access to all the student archives. That's where she got this. Look, I'm more interested in the shooter. The sooner we get him, the less time he has to make a run for it. If the film wasn't important to the murder, why did he burn it? If it were so important, it wouldn't have been left behind. But the money... Only a handful of Colt Cobra 38 special owners in the area. Uh, Miller, Wilson, Stewart, Col uh, Coggle, Wakeley, Phillips. Wakeley? Like Governor Wade Wakeley? Susan Wakeley, age 62, deceased. If she was deceased, where did her gun go? Look up Wade Wakeley. Wade Wakeley. Uh, under relatives, Thomas and Mary, parents, two uncles, Curtin, and Aunt Susan. According to the census status, Susan lived with a Jim Wakeley, her son. Governor Wakeley's cousin. Looks that way. Isn't the governor an alum of UVM? Uh, Wade Wakeley, UVM alum, class of 2000, international relations major, minor in film and cultural studies. That's Helena's major. I'm telling you, there's something more going on here. Campbell, it's just a mugging gone wrong. I'm going to get an APB on his plate. Like Alistair, just because you're having trouble with Lori doesn't mean you can shoot down all my ideas. I know how to do my job, Campbell. Leave my wife out of it. His car's still here. I'll have to thank Jenks for the tip-off. He's probably visiting his mother's grave. She's buried here. I think that's him. Jim Wakeley? Rick McAllister, Montpelier Police. Okay, I'll stop running. I'll stop. Cousin's little hitman finally got caught. What? Mr. Wakeley, I'd like to ask you some questions about last Sunday. Okay, okay. Just get that gun off of me. What's the matter? Guns make you uncomfortable? That's enough. Now, Mr. Wakeley, we found your mother's gun at the scene of a murder. It had fingerprints on it. Do you want to tell us anything about that? All right. I know there's nothing I can say. I killed that girl. But I didn't mean to do it. I just needed some money. Cut the crap. Your cousin, the governor, found himself in a bit of a bind. Seems he forgot about some college indiscretions caught on film that could cost him his re-election. The footage was found by a 23-year-old nobody. Threatened with exposure, he called on you his good-for-nothing cousin, to clean up his mess. You're told she lives in town. You follow her from her weekend job to the ATM, where she deposits her paycheck. You kill the girl, burn the film. And where were you headed? The French Riviera? What? I don't know what she's talking about. Wade cut me out of his life years ago. We know your cousin paid you off. That's why you left the money and Campbell. ran. What did he promise you? What? Look, just tell me what happened, son. Okay, L look. Like I said before, I just need some cash. I haven't been able to pay my rent. I didn't mean to kill that girl. I just needed her money. But 
then she was clutching that thing like it was really valuable. And so I tried to grab for it. And she swatted the gun. And it went off. And the thing caught fire. So I got the hell out of there. You expect me to buy Look, that? that's enough. Let's just take him in. He goes to jail. End of story. I can't believe this. You had this. no evidence. Just because you disagree with Governor Wakeley's political ideals doesn't mean he's involved with a conspiracy. I don't disagree with his politics. I can do my job, too. It all fit together so perfectly. He let his cousin take the fall as long as the tape was still destroyed. God damn it, what was on that film? Campbell. What the hell are you doing? You're leveling groundless accusations against a, a well-respected politician. You're just constructing an elaborate story around whatever set of clues that you can find. Is this your idea of a good time? Because it's not my idea of good police work. Hi, Professor Lopez. It's Helena. I just received the package with the old film for my project in it. I really want to get it turned in on time, and I really needed first-hand footage of these birds. Hope you're having a good break. Thanks. Bye. Jim, it's Wade. I haven't heard from you in a while. Wanted to make sure everything was uh, going okay. Look, there may be another copy, and it may be in the possession of Mireya Lopez. I have reason to believe she tried to get rid of it. 